next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you all how to do the sky changing and also the monster chasing. So let's get right into it. Okay, so firstly, I think I'm just going to uh, change the day, actually, if I can. Uh, if I five. Can I please... Hold on. Gotta make everything bright. Alright, so I'm just gonna make everything white real quick. And clock time will be... Um... Yeah, like the daytime. But the problem is, I think that there's a lighting here. Because this doesn't doesn't let me change it, but it's okay. And we can do something different. Okay. So now, what I want to do, since everyone chose wisely, yeah. So if they're sitting down, we're gonna do another transition event. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do it. First, it, all right. Now I'm gonna do some challenge two. We'll wait for about three seconds and then we're gonna teleport them but we're not gonna or transition them but we're not gonna teleport them and then we'll do a wait for about five seconds and then they should be back in the tents i mean double space that actually and now um we can start our Random dialogue. There we go. And we'll make them say, like, good night, everyone. And hold on, let me just uh, let me get my notes. Sometimes I do forget what I'm doing. I am not the best at this, but I can still do it. I'm just not like that experience. All right. So now we are going, oh, well, that's a typo. Now we are going to wait for about five seconds. And then, hold on, there's two something. Now we can um, work on our lighting. So let me just get some of this lighting right here. Whoops, I accidentally just deleted my notes. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to, actually no, we'll wait five transition event, and then we'll do that. So this lighting will just make everything all dark and spooky and stuff, pretty much. And, wait five, yeah, okay. So now that it's nighttime, it's more dark. It's gonna be more dark and gloomy than it is right now. Uh, we're gonna wait five. And since we don't have our the our music in yet, which I, I should have in another episode, I'll teach you guys how to do the music. Um, we're just gonna wait, and later we can put in a sound. But let's just say that there was a sound, and then we'll just make one player say, uh, did anyone else hear that? And now, uh, let, me, let me find an attack the NPC. Alright. Make sure it doesn't have a virus. I do not want viruses in my game. Oh, jump respawn zombie. Yeah, it, it seems fine. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll just delete it later. But here, we'll have our. So this NPC, name it, you have to keep the name. So I'm just gonna call it Monster. So it's gonna be our monster. So now you wanna move um, the monster. Um, just move where you want the monster to spawn in. So I want the monster to spawn right here. So here we will have our monster. So the monster will be here. And then we're gonna drag him into replicated storage. So he's going to be in this area, but we're just not going to see him right now. 
Okay. Now back into the... Wait, what? Why do I have two scripts? It's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure it's the same though, right? No, this one's... Alright, there. Okay, that was kind of weird. And then, now we are going to create our local variable for our uh, monster. So we're going to do local monster equals game uh, replicated storage dot monster and we're going to clone it and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to make the parent into workspace so we're going to monster dot parent equals game dot workspace so this will spawn in the monster and then we can start our timer event and fire that to all the clients and then we'll do it for five seconds only since it's i don't want to be chasing have the chasing for that long and then we'll do monster destroy okay so now let's publish this to the game and then we will go and test it out I'm pretty sure one of the spawns are here, so might have to change that later. But yeah, you guys have seen this before if you um, have been watching since part one. And here is the seats that we can sit in. All right, go ahead and take some time to look around. So yeah, this is just a free room, so we're we're fine if we don't sit down and it's a okay. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this wonderful circus, and then. As you can see, it's, it's still nighttime, but it's slightly brighter down here. Alright, come back to the tents, please. And then now it will have the transition. Alright. Getting late, everyone please find a tent to sleep in for the night. So, last tutorial, I didn't sit down, and you guys saw that I died. So this tutorial, I will sit down and show you that I should survive. However, if the player does get up, um, before the timer runs out, they'll still die. So yeah, as you can see, we are still alive. We have not died. And then now it'll teleport us. Oh, it won't teleport us. It just, it'll just start the transition. But good night, everyone. And then the monster will spawn. But as you can see, it's much darker. Did anyone else hear that? And here's the monster going to attack. And it only put it for five seconds. And now the monster is gone. And there you go. So that's how you change the uh, time of day and how you do your monster chase. So I'll see you guys later.